Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hello, it's Dave from Retired Time Productions. I'd like to be out flying my Mavic Pro, but it's just too rainy out there and I can't do it. So what do you say we talk about the Mini Talon again? I'm thinking maybe in this video I'll go ahead and uh, put the servos in the wings here and laminate the wings. And I'll show you how to do that. And then once I get the servos in, maybe we can wire up everything to the APM and see if we can make everything work. Well, it's nice they put the decals already on there. But let's look at this other wing. Now what I've got here is the servo. And I'm going to be using this type here. There's probably better ones out there, but uh, this one just happens to be some I had. And somebody mentioned that these were pretty good. I got them from Stone Blue Airlines. Uh, I don't know if you can see the label right there, but that's what they are. They're analog, I know. But we'll just see how they work. If it crashes, they'll probably pop out and I can put different ones in. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is use the servo. Call it a servo tester, but I, it's really a servo aligner for me because I'm going to make sure this is in the center. Okay, and let's get a servo arm and put it on there and then align it in the center. Alright, so here's my setup. Got my servo tester out. And they got the usual U back here providing the 5 volts to the servo tester. Servo's plugged in here. I know I got very long wires, but I want to have extra wires to go out to the APM when I'm testing it on the bench. You can always change that later, but I'm going to be using these long wires for now. Alright, now this servo tester has three positions. And you can go, it's on manual right now, and I can move it around like that. Pardon my shadow. Okay, so I can move it around. And then you can press the button, and that is neutral position right there, which is supposed to be center. So that should be center right there. And if I just want to test it, it'll run it back and forth like that. And I can see the full travel. I'll probably mention this several times, but I'm going to be using uh, this foam tack cement that I got from Stone Blue Airlines. It uh, Stone Blue Airlines sells this because it doesn't uh, affect the foam and he doesn't hurt the foam. Yet it really works good. It's kind of like a shoe glue. Okay, so I just hooked it back to the servo tester. I don't want to take any chances and get it wrong. So now this time it looks like we have a choice of either going a little bit forward or a little bit backward. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with a, a little bit towards the rear, like that. But that is the center. We're going here. And watch it. So you can see it is a little bit backward, but those are the choices you have. I'm going to go with it like that. All right, now we'll put that screw back in. You can actually see me do it. I think if it's on camera and it's in focus. The servo tester is actually on right now while I'm putting the screw in. There we go. Looks pretty good. Probably you all are bored with this because everybody's tried this, right? Just turning the dial back and forth. It's fun though. What can I say? All right, I'm going to unplug the battery. And then the servo will go in like that. There really is no other way for it to go. The way they've designed this hole, unless you're going to cut your own hole and put a bigger servo in, but I'm not going to do that. This one fits good. Tell you what, before I run that wire, let's just go ahead and tack it in with some of this foam tack cement. Just put a little on there. Once it goes in there it isn't coming out. 
probably be hard to rip out. I'm not even going to put any on the bottom because I feel like this, it's going to be in there so good. And I'm, if I do want to get it out, I want to. I don't want to make it too hard. So, all right, let's just put it in there. Now, a funny thing about foam tack, it actually works better if you once you get it in, if you pull it back out and let it dry a little bit, let it tack up. I guess that's why they call it foam tack, right? And you could probably let it dry about five minutes and it and it'd be fine. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there for now. Okay, so the pot, the one that was on the back or the glue that was on the back isn't really contacting anything, so it's just these two sides that are contacting anything. Don't want to overdo it with that foam tack though, it's very strong stuff. Well, I'm noticing that groove isn't really deep enough and the wire sticks up some, so with that in mind, I think I'm going to make it a little deeper. Or I should say, going to make it a little deeper. Here we go. So I just got my blade like that. That's plenty deep enough. It's going to go cut. Cutting along the groove here. Trying to keep it on camera, which I almost don't ever do. You can take a popsicle stick like this and just run it down through there and if that doesn't open it up it never will <laughs> this is definitely gonna do it okay so now that's in there now the wire doesn't have any trouble going in now just to make sure it's in there I'm gonna take the popsicle stick and just go over the top of it just want to get it down below the surface so that the hot iron doesn't melt the rubber on the on the wiring. Okay, now down here, I'm going to cut a little hole for this to go in. It won't have to be much. Let's just mark it here and here, and then I'll cut a little hole. Okay, now I'll just pry out some of the foam. And we'll test fit it. Looks like it needs to be just a little bit deeper. Just digging in, digging in there with the tip. Almost. It's kind of going sideways with the tip just to dig out some of that foam. That's pretty good. got it in there now just to make sure we haven't disconnected anything or cut the wires let's go ahead and run the servo tester again you knew I wanted to anyway I just love turning that dial oh yeah well, that looks like it's got plenty of throw we're good Okay, of course now the next step would be to do the second wing. But do you notice anything here about the second wing? It's identical to the first one. Well, that would be really easy to just copy the first one onto the second one. But why are they the same? That seems to be a problem. Let's put the two together and see what happens. Seriously, I haven't noticed this. But, uh... Yeah, I think I'm one of the lucky crew to get two left-hand wings instead of a left and a right. It looks like these wings are identical. I got two left-hand wings. I'm wondering how I can actually get a, just one wing. I don't know. Any clue? let me know before we continue so yeah I don't think this is gonna fly well you've heard of the PNP kit and the RTF kit this is the WTF kit Take your 